And welcome once more to Flashpoints. I'm Bob Orr, joined by Juan Zarate, our national security analyst. Juan, good to see you. Bob, great to see you. Let's talk a little bit about the security and the uh, the security that's getting worse in Iraq. What's happening there? Well, what you've seen in this last year, Bob, is over 5,000 Iraqis killed due to terrorist and sectarian violence. Sunday, this past Sunday, we've seen uh, nine car bomb attacks. Uh, the there's momentum growing for uh, not just uh, more and more violence, but also the dissolution of Iraqi society with sectarian lines being drawn and violence uh, increasing. And uh, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Maliki, talking more and more about the dangers of the disillusion uh, and now coming to the United States asking for help. What kind of help does he want? I mean, it seems like we just settled the Iraq question. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the, the problem is uh, Iraq wasn't over the moment we left. The, the reality is uh, Iraqi society is still torn by violence, sectarian tension, political rifts. Uh, and he's now asking for support. He needed our support before and got it when we were in country with our military forces. He now needs it in terms of counterterrorism cooperation because he sees the rise of Al Qaeda in Iraq, uh, fueled in part by what's happening in Syria. Um, and he is not able to control it, frankly. And the irony here, Bob, is that we are now being asked by the prime minister uh, when we didn't have a deal to keep our forces in, we're now being asked to broaden and deepen our counterterrorism cooperation. It's a little bit like deja vu or Alice in Wonderland, but the reality is Iraq needs our help, and they're coming to ask for it. So politically, how do you do that? If you're the White House, how do you say, okay, you call an audible, and now what do we do? We send help there? Well, I think there's really two major choices. One, uh, you help where you can, but help softly with intelligence sharing and, and some mild things but with a president really doesn't want to re-engage in Iraq. I mean, he's made uh, political hay out of having ended the war and our uh, troop involvement in Iraq. So there's no way he's going to send troops back or anything that appears to be a forceful presence uh, into Iraq. The other option is to be strategic about it, to say, look, we had failed to get a deal that we had said we wanted, which was a long-term strategic agreement, like we're negotiating with Afghanistan. Let's take this moment to negotiate that deal. And what does that look like? What does that look like from an American perspective that makes sense? Maybe it's some troops on the ground. Maybe it's an so there's a leverage. There's a leverage opportunity. There. Absolutely. And maybe we revisit that moment uh, where we weren't able to uh, get what we needed. Maybe we get it now. But politically, I don't see that as a possibility for this president, this administration that has really made um, great hay at, uh, at, at the expense of not having any troops or real physical kinetic presence in Iraq. At the same time, though, the stability of Iraq is pretty important because Syria is still a mess. Well, Iraq matters because it's the heart of the Middle East. Uh, Syria is a mess, and so what's happening in Iraq is affecting Syria and vice versa. You also have Iraq being very important vis-a-vis -vis Iran. We're very much worried about the influence of Iran in Iraq. Uh, Iraq is allowing Iranian overflights into Syria. We have very little leverage to stop that. And so this is a moment, actually, to think through what our strategic interests are longer term with Iraq. It's not just about getting our troops home. That's critical and important. That's fine. But that was a political slogan. The question now is long term, what is our strategic interest with Iraq? And the, the fact is the prime minister of Iraq is coming to the U.S. for help. If that's the case, it's a moment of leverage for us, and let's figure out what we need. Um, but I don't think we're going to see any grand political uh, deals, uh, especially with this administration. It'll be fascinating to see how that all plays out. Thank you, Bob. Thanks as always. And thanks to you for watching Flashpoints. I'm Bob, or we'll see you next time.